<laughs> Welcome back. We are sitting down with Dr. Jackie Del Rosario. She's a certified pre and post marital counselor. She's been doing it for more than 20 years. She's here today to explain to us the keys to a happy, happy. marriage. Why, first of all, would you want to get involved in a losing battle like this? Wow. <laughs> Wait a minute. Battle. Wow, Mark. This is a fight yeah. that we all want to be in. Yeah. Relationships I, are central to our happiness. Yeah. They're central to everything. But you get, it's a give and take, isn't it? I mean, it is. There isn't a victor. Well, you know what? He sounds like he's been reading up because it's really true. Relationships are a give and take. And the problem is, is we've not really been taught all the dynamics. So that's right. where I come in. I want to really kind of educate people. So, well, dynamics meaning what exactly? Well, that uh, first of all, we have to take into account gender differences. We have to take into account preconceived notions about what a marriage is really all about. Mm. Like you just said, it's a give and take. I mean, that sounds to most people like a lot of work. And guess what? It is. It is a lot of work. Yeah. You s when but things it's rewarding work. Mm -hmm. If things are going smoothly, is that a bad sign? No, that means that usually things are going well, unless you have a person that is passive aggressive and they're not really talking about what's wrong, mm -hmm. so they're kind of acting out. So you have to pay attention and know who you're with. Well, why are arguments, do you say that arguments are healthy? Well, why? Well, now, remember, now let me frame this correctly. Okay. If you fight fair, arguments are actually a really good thing. They're an indication that the relationship is trying to evolve. Mm -hmm. So how do we know that? Typically, you're going to see that you're fighting about the same thing, different time, different place, but it's basically on the same subject. That means that you're at an impasse. And so there needs to be a shift in the relationship so that now you can go to the next level. So if you pay attention, that's a good thing. It means right. that we need to now stop worrying about who's going to win and let's now get to the point of resolving and figure out what changes do we need to bring to the table so that we can reach our next well, level. You said fighting fair. So what does fighting fair actually mean? Could you well, give us an example? But I'm sure you know what fighting unfair is like, right? That's name calling. <laughs> yes. You know, that's where you escalate a conversation. That's where you kind of lose focus of what it was all about. You forget at the end, what were we even fighting about? Because you kind of got off track. Well, you yeah. got mean and mean towards one right. another. Oh, wait, don't you want to, you want to be married to a winner, right? So in an argument, you want them to win, <laughs> but yet Mark, you're stop going it. with that. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Bringing the male logic to no. this conversation it's stupid. that is here. The logic I, is stupid. Yeah, I think no. there's a lot of men that are like plugging their ears. You just their, name I, called I, him. I, yeah. I know. <laughs> exactly, I did it as an but example. It, it, oh. But in a sense, I mean, okay. when, uh, you don't have to, I'm not saying fight dirty. I'm okay. saying if, if we have a disagreement, I'm going to want to get my way with you right. with what I see is right. But you know what's so funny? That's the typical thing. And that's where we go off course. Because really arguing is not about winning. It's about being happy and getting along because we resolved whatever the conflict was. Yeah. So if you're worried about winning, you're never going to resolve anything. And so you're just going to be going around and around the same mountain. And each time you go around, I'm getting more wounded and hurt. And bitterness is building up, discontent. And that's how we land ourselves in divorce court. We, you talk about triggers. Yes. Right? What do you mean by that? Well, triggers are those past traumas that reshape who we are. And triggers are really important because, you know, like I have a thing about um, maybe criticism. Mm -hmm. So maybe it, because somebody did it to me in the past or you were cheated on. Mm -hmm. Not you personally, but just as an example. <laughs> right. Say so you were cheated on. So maybe you have now trust issues. So associated with that are these triggers. There are things that remind you and take you right back to where you were when this thing happened to you initially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we're sensitive to different uh, words that people can use. We're sensitive to different actions, and they will undermine any relationship. They're almost like IEDs. When you step on one, everything goes, goes to pieces. Right. So even when I'm trying to talk to you and resolve a conflict, if you don't know what my triggers are and you use one, we can go south really quickly. Right. So you want to know history. Mm -hmm. You know, I found out from my husband. Like, for example, I would wonder why he didn't like conflict. You know, if we had an argument about something, he just felt like it was the end of the world. Mm -hmm. I learned that his parents never argued yeah. in front of them. So to him, arguing was a really negative yeah. thing. Yes. And so he kind of thought that it was always something fatal, you know, if it happened. Mm. Um, so learning your partner's history is going to tell you what some of those triggers might be and then what you need to use as an alternative to make right. sure that you avoid them. Okay, so um, do you guys, by the way, have any triggers that you, you know, within your relationships and your own that go off when you're, no, you know, stepping one. on any eye? My, <laughs> my husband always does his phone, and so he would always, like, gamble or, like, do things on his phone mm -hmm. all the time. So every time he pulls that phone out, like, if it's Mother's Day or any holiday, mm -hmm. and it's like I see him in the corner, I'm instantly, like, 
Mm -hmm. What is he doing? Why is he mm -hmm. here? Like, it's just... And you'll know if it's a trigger because you escalate. Your, your response right. to it is, like, over the top. It's because it's touching something that really set you off or bothered you a lot in the past, but you go right back to that level every time it happens. Right. So we, how do we deal with this in a positive manner? Like, what's the, what's up? You see somebody, you know, on the phone, and oh, it just drives you crazy. How do you? Without that going south, what mm -hmm. do you do? How do you well, I think it's all about conversation, right? So I would want to let my husband know. You know, honey, this thing with the phone that time that we were in this bad place and this used to happen a lot it really you know i'm, I'm kind of stained by that and so you know i think you're gonna have to be careful with that until i can kind of get over it you know and it might take some time mm -hmm. so him knowing that he's going to be more sensitive around it and then if he doesn't and he forgets something's going to go off when he sees that you start to get yeah. you, you start to escalate a Did little you bit you confront them right then and there and go hey just so you, you know yeah, we'll hold it in. <laughs> well, you know, and let it I cook for a while. Huh? Yeah. Is, we would have like little buzzwords. Like I might say something before I could see myself going there. You know, I might say we might have like a, just the sun is shining. So when he heard me say that, that meant, uh oh, remember. Oh. And then we automatically, you know, begin to play our Get proper role so that your... we dealt with it quickly. Uh, a couple of, uh, we have some viewers that have written in some really wonderful uh, comments or questions for you. So let's uh, go to Selma P., our first. She says, my husband and I have been retired for a few years now. What's the best advice for surviving 24-7 together? Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, it sounds like really they're talking about empty nest, aren't they? Yeah. So you know what happens with empty nest is we've built our lives around our children. Right. So now when the children are gone, we're wondering, we're looking at each other like, well, what do we do next? <laughs> yeah. It means that you've kind of forgotten about who you were in your own identity as an individual. So you really should prepare beforehand. Start building, right. renewing relationships and activities that you used to be involved with. You know, some of those things you love but just didn't have time to fit in because of family duty. Right. You need to go back and begin to revitalize some of those things. They need to have some things that are together and some things that are apart. All right. Second question, Vera K. After Vera K. After 20 plus years of marriage, how do you keep those negative gripes mm. from interfering with the overall happiness of your marriage? So the little yeah. things affect the big picture. How do they you do. Avoid that? Uh, well, the first thing is you have to remember that we have, as human beings, have a tendency. If one thing is wrong, it's like that pebble in the shoe. Mm -hmm. You know, everything else could be going good, but that one thing that's going wrong, we tend to really hyper focus on it. Mm -hmm. So we got to remember that and keep things in the proper perspective. But you also need to deal with whatever those unresolved issues are. If they're unresolved, they're always going to come back to kind of haunt you. So I always say, seek attention, just like you tune your body up. I mean, your car every year, yeah. you go get an annual physical, see somebody like me a marriage yeah. coach that can kind of help you to work through those unresolved issues because if you've tried and you're still not doing it yeah you might yeah. need some help one good great tips yeah, i could do a good. two hours with Let you uh, on all of this <laughs> dr jackie by the way is inviting all of you to join her along with uh, mercedes-benz to and norwegian air uh, cruise lines rather for couples boot camp it's on october 10th sounds like a lot of fun drjackie.com is the place you can go find out more information you can also find the keys to a happy marriage on our website again thank you so thank much you. for being here and, and hopefully we've offered up a little bit of help to have people remove that pebble in the shoe that's right okay uh when we're back we're talking about protecting our pets and i'm going to bring fat freddy here who you're going to see has lost a few pounds i'm going to come back <laughs>